Throne of Seal Episode 32 trailer has been updated. Long Houchin passes out because the sight of Kyre makes him relieved. And he's unable to hold on as his condition grows worse. Before he faints, Long Houchin heard Kyre's words of forgiveness. He even keeps a sweet smile when he's having a dream. Kyre is deeply moved that Long Houchin insists on waiting for her in the cold night wind despite his condition. Her cold face reveals a rare tenderness. She carefully helps Long Houchin back to the dormitory and secretly transfers spiritual power to cure his injury. Long Houchin, who is extremely weak, sleeps deeply with the nourishment of Kyre's spiritual power. He dreams of his father, Long Xingyu. Long Xingyu remains strict as he was in his memory, and his majestic face is devoid of smiles. He waves his sword to test the growth of Long Houchin. In the battle with Yang Wenzhou, Long Houchin makes a breakthrough in the desperate situation and is promoted to the fifth level knight. For a 14 year old boy, he's making a progress faster than a genius. But Long Xingyu is still unresponsive to his progress. He tells Long Houchin in a deep voice that he should never be conceited and the fifth level knight was just the beginning of for an expert. Only when he reaches the ninth level knight can he be a match for gods and the demon king. Long Houchin listens earnestly to his father. The reason why he chooses to become a double cultivation knight was that he wants to protect his parents, friends and care and become stronger. This is his responsibility. The next morning, Long Houchin wakes suddenly with a start, and a trace of disappointment appears on his face. It turns out that he met his father in his dream. He misses his father and is eager to meet him. However, Long Houchin soon calms down. His priority now is to achieve good results in the competition and become a member of the demon hunting team. Long Houchin takes a deep breath. After clearing his mind, he feels his physical condition. In a second, Long Houchin opens his eyes wide, only to find that after a night's sleep, his old wounds have been healed and he doesn't feel tired anymore. What Long Houchin doesn't know is that the reason why he recovers so quickly is that Kyre gave him spiritual power to nourish his body. As Lee Xian comes to the dormitory to find him, it occurs to Long Houchin that today is the day of the final draw. He hurries to the site with Lee Xian. This magnificent square has been filled with all kinds of contestants. Those who can enter the final circle are the elites of the six holy temples. Long Houchin's fighting will is evoked. He can't wait to fight with the talents of other professions. At this time, a familiar green-haired man suddenly comes to Long Houchin and greets him warmly. It's none other than Lin Xian, the grandiose dude. As soon as Lin Xian meet him, he cottons up to Long Houchin and tells him to select him as a team member if Long Houchin enters the first three finals. Long Houchin himself isn't offended, but Lee Xian shows a disgusting look at Lin Xian's action. She thinks that the green-haired man is to use pills as bait to get something from her brother. Li Xinxiu frowns, hands akimbo, and deces Lin Xian till he feels ashamed. While they are bickering, Long Houchin sees a familiar figure, Yang Wenzhou. He has a good impression of Yang Wenzhou despite the fact that the latter beats him down. Long Houchin is about to go forward to greet him when he finds Yang Wenzhou, is giving him a cold look with a strong hostility in his sharp eyes. Long Houchin is wondering why Yang Wenzhou is so hostile to him. In addition, the favored son of the Night Temple doesn't seem to be in a normal state today. He appears to be very weak, with no color in his cheeks. While Long Houchin is pondering, he hears the clear sound of bamboo sticks knocking on the ground. The sound, which is engraved in mind, gives his body a violent shake. Subconsciously, he turns his head to the direction of the sound. Kyer, it's Kyer. Long Houchin trots all the way to Kyer. Kyer, here you are, whispers him as he gently holds Kyer's hand. The warmth from the palm of her hand makes Kyer feel an electric current running through her body. She feels a shiver. She is surprised that Long Houchin suddenly takes her hand in public. There is a slight flush on her cheeks as she couldn't help lowering her head. Seeing Kyer's shy appearance, Long Houchin suddenly comes to himself. He quickly withdraws his palm and scratches his head with embarrassment. He's so excited to see Kyer that he lost his composure. At this time, Long Houchin and Kyer are the center of attention. The contestants in the Assassin's Temple are the most shocking ones at the scene. They all lean forward and gape at them. They never expect the cold and ruthless saint of the Assassin's Temple to be so shy. When Yang Wenzhou sees the girl in purple skirt, he feels a dull ache in his wound. Kyer has created a huge psychological shadow for him. It's the glory of a knight and the confidence of an expert that gives Yang Wenzhou an urge to fight with Kyer on the challenge arena again. When Yang Wenzhou looks at Long Houchen beside Kyer, his eyes grow colder. Yang Wenzhou's the culprit who makes him a target of an assassin inexplicably. Ying Suifeng, the deputy head of the assassin temple on the rostrum is pissed off seeing the lovey-dovey Long Houchen and Kyer. A reincarnation saint is rarely seen in the assassin temple, only to be taken away by someone in the night temple. With a bang, Ying Suifeng clenches his fists and squeezes the porcelain bottle into a powder. A doubt hits Long Houchen after a short excitement. The appearance of Kyer shows that she's here for the final draw. 
Is she also a professional? Long Houchen stares at Kyer in a daze, his shocked mood mixed with worry. Kyer has lost her sight. How can she fight? Long Houchen's heart aches for her at the thought of this. He secretly makes up his mind to become stronger to protect the weak girl in front of him, 